boom, we're gonna put a big turbo on $7,500 BMW. It's gonna be awesome. Non. Oh, oh, tell Dude, you just got home. <laughs> Today we're gonna be taking my $7,500 BMW build to the next level. You've already seen we built it to right around 500 horsepower. First things first, we gotta go to the pump to get some of that special corn sauce. And when we get back, we'll throw on the custom tune and then we'll have some fun. So the name of the game is Cheap Power, which means we're not going to be touching the fuel system at all. We're going to leave the stock shit in there, which means that we got to use E30 fuel. And what that is, is basically a special blend between E85 and your premium gasoline. So we got to go to the store. We got to make sure that our calculation is perfect. Good thing I got an F in chemistry. So anyways, we're going to put that in there, put it in this piece of shit. Piece and of shit. Nice piece of shit, whatever. But we're going to put it in this thing and see how much power we can get. And we're gonna reward you with a nasty fat burnout at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned. So basically the calculation is pretty easy. We need 73% premium gas. And then we're gonna take one of these little bad boys right here to the gas station. Yep. Basically the rest of it will be E85. We get our E30 mix. So let's take the Jag to the gas station because why not? It's raining outside so we may slide around a bit, but hey, that's what makes it fun. Yeah, I can't take this because I need to keep it at that perfect level. Yeah, gotta keep the gasoline untouched. So we'll take the Jag, the Hot Rod Jag with its big old cammed choppy V8 in it. Basically what I'm doing right now is just labeling it so that when we bring it back, I don't accidentally put this in the Chevelle or T-Bird. That would not be good. So that way, no mix-ups possible. Hold on. This is normal. That's how it goes. We have the hot for teacher tune on the car. On the carbureted car. Oh, oh, sorry. I don't have any wipers in this car, so this is what I gotta do when it's raining. There we go. Okay. It's time. It's time for 85. Okay, so we just got here, and based off my calculations, with how full my gas tank is right now with premium, I need to add about 4.16 gallons of pure E85. So, that's what we're gonna get. All this work, all that horsepower. So the funny thing is that technically this is gonna cost like $8. So he's gonna be adding close to 50 wheel horsepower for $8. Except it probably cost me 20 bucks in gas in this thing to get here. Yeah, that's true. We had to drive about 17 miles to get to this gas station, so the gas used in the process of getting here costs a little bit. Hey, but you, you gotta do. Okay, just put my card in. Good. E85 selected. I need 4.16 gallons, so we're gonna keep an eye right here. How accurate can I get it? We will find out. Oh, look, it's one of those. Oh, here we go. You went too much. That's a sale. Oh, never mind, never mind. idiot. This is one of those non... Oh, oh, cal... Dude, you just got home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't clean your shoes. This is one of those non-safe California gas pumps where you can do shit like that. Oh, you son of a bitch. One more. Yes! Oh, we did it. 4.16. I perform under pressure. So it cost it 14 bucks. So still with uh, three 14, miles, 14 bucks, three right miles per it. gallon on this thing, it costed more to get here. All right, we got our E85. So with E85, the actual ethanol percentage varies. So people like to test it, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay. Yeah, that's 85. That's 85%. Okay, we made it back. We'll add this in, and then we gotta do the fun stuff on the computer. And like I said, if I've done my calculations properly, this should top off the tank to 100% full, and I'll have a perfect E30 mix. Boop. Boop. Oh, that's not good. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. It didn't push in the valve. It's probably good for your paint, it cleans the paint. It's, it's like a, all right, well, there's black coming off on the paper towels, that's not a good sign. Here, no, go get the hose. The stupid check valve wasn't in. Fuck. Okay, take two. Okay, we're going successfully. Come on the paint. So we're thinking about adding a much bigger turbo for this car. So let us know in the comments down below if you think that's what we should do. Uh, I'm convinced Lenny needs a little more convincing and a little more <laughs> nudging. I don't know if I need nudging. We're currently talking to one company, seeing if we could uh, work something out, you know? Get a little turbo sent out, a little turb ski. <laughs> Once you go big turbo, you don't go back. I really want to take this to the Irwindale drag strip, get some real times, see if, how this car does. The E85 is now in the car. So next up, Break out that uh, computer, oh. press some buttons. We're not, done. we're not done? No, we're not done. What do you mean? I was just checking the gas level. Oh, you gotta pour more of that in? Yeah, there's like half of it still in there. Oh. Okay. Well. Okay. So now we gotta tune the car. And before we do that, hook it up to the trigger charger. <laughs> so one of the connectors will go here, and the other one will go right here. The next thing we do is blow it up. I mean, plug it in. There it is. Okay, let's get to tuning. Computer hacking. It just kind of feels like deja vu, but wire's plugged in. Got the special piece, ow. Let's plug it in. Okay, all right, let's get to tuning. Okay. What was that? Nothing. Well, now that I've got the correct thing pulled up, we could turn the car on, just the ignition. So I got a check engine light, uh, came on about a day ago. I wanna run a few tests to see what it is, just to make sure nothing's too bad, you know? Okay, so we'll come out here to diagnostics, read. Let's see what comes up. Wow, that is a lot of codes. Wow. Well, these all say inactive, so we'll just worry about these right here. So we got mixture too lean. We got intake air temperature, inconsistent basically, and throttle valve angle. Hmm. You know, let's get this sorted out before we tune it. So the car lately hasn't been cold starting properly. It seems like the idle's messed up. So I think that's where the lean code's coming in. But as far as the intake air temp, we're just gonna clean off the mass airflow and uh, we should be fine. Come on, you. There we go. So we're just gonna take the intake off to get access. Everything looks, everything looks fine. <laughs> I think that's all we need to do. Also, while I was in here, I noticed the radiator, which is like all plastic, starting to get a hairline crack on it, which wouldn't happen if they made them out of fucking metal. Sorry, put this back on, we should be good to go. That's taken care of. The rest of the codes we could probably just fix with the tuning. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, now that that's all cleared up, we go ahead and clear those codes. Probably one of the best features when owning a BMW. Okay, we're tuning. It's downloading, it'll start uploading, and then we'll be good to go. Oh, chassis stable, oh, drivetrain malfunction. Throwing all kinds of codes. Drivetrain malfunction. It's fine. And there we have it, successfully tuned. I am stoked to get this thing on the road and see what it can do. Okay, so now I turn the car off. Wait five seconds. Okay, pull the plug. Let's get out of here. Let's go test this thing. All right, let's get a little cold start on this thing. Fingers crossed it doesn't blow up. Three, two, one, fire the hole! No, 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 I'm not tasting this one. Lenny's got to move his jag, so. Oh, yeah. Filmed in Mexico. So the Mexican Canyon's holy. Okay, all right, that was. You're not showing the gauges, right? No. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, oh, don't show the speed limit. Don't show the speed limit. I can definitely feel it in the torque. That's where I can feel it, the difference. It's not like crazy, but it is, you know, for the little money we pay, I think pretty good. For 14 bucks, that's worth it. Yeah. 14 bucks in the tune, not too shabby. This thing's fun, dude. Let's see how it handles the burnouts. Lenny's gonna demonstrate for us the powers of E85. Yeah, they're warming up the tires on that one. I'm a fan of big, rumbling V8 cars. I'm not a huge Beamer boy, but I will give credit because, you know what? For how little amount of money is put into this car, how much we beat the living shit out of it, and it's still running. Sure, you know, it throws codes and little things break, but you know what? I like this. You can't argue with the price point and performance and practicality you get out of it. Okay, I want to also give you guys an update with, you know, I know the wheels look really stupid the way they are, but I have an update. They just shipped their bronze. I'm not gonna show a picture. You're gonna have to wait and find out, but they're gonna look a lot better. And it's a nice way to kind of break up all the black. Let's get the rev shocks. So it sounds about the same. It was like an engine failure. I, I don't know. I think we got like one more on the way out of here, but we, we gotta go. No more. Just one more. Last one. Got some smoke on that one. Oh man. Yeah, that one was good. Let's take it back and see what's going on with the engine now. Yeah. Oh, did we get another code? No, just your fucking seatbelt. Okay, we just got back. You know, the E85 really added some horsepower. It was a lot of fun, but you can always go bigger. Here's the big turbo that we could put on the $7,500 BMW. And honestly, I need to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if you want to see this. Oh, dude, the tires for the Mustang just got delivered to the warehouse. No way. I'll call Katie. Cool. Hey, Katie, were the tires delivered yet? Hey, Noah. Yeah, they just got here. They look awesome. <laughs> no way. I can't wait to see them.